Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Farrakhan, a product designer working in London. In this video, I'm gonna walk through a design portfolio presentation template that you can use to nail your design interviews and land that job. It's a template that I've used at you during big tech interviews that have helped me get some offers. It's a free Figma template, so be sure to go in the link in the description below to grab the template and subscribe to my newsletter. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So heading straight into Figma, this is a free portfolio presentation template. Just head in the link in the description below to grab it. And let's get started into the file. You have a cover template, you have a read me where I go through some frequently asked questions. And you can always contact me, follow me on Twitter or email me if you have any other questions on how to use this. So let's go straight to the slides here. So first of all, We've got the cover slide, the main opening slide where you put your name, portfolio presentation, the date, and the company you're presenting to, whether this could be Spotify, Facebook, a startup, whatever it is. And here I've got a little link to show. If you want to see an example of my presentation that I used, just sign up to my newsletter using this link and you'll be able to see the Figma presentation that I used and it'll be in a slide format. So straight away, the first thing you do in a portfolio presentation is introduce yourself. So it's really important to basically come across as really human and you're spending the first few minutes where people are gauging an impression of yourself. You want to come across as nice, friendly, someone that's quite interesting and you're not just really that robotic of a person that just designs day to day. You're, you've got more about you, right? So. You just talk about I'm a product designer, what company name, where, wherever you're living right now, what you're working on and how long you've been there or how long you've been in design. And you can list some hobbies and side projects and interests, whether that's like baking, climbing, running, cooking, whatever you do, play chess, like just list some like um, hobbies and interests just to give an extra flavor and personality. And if you do any volunteering, that's really cool as well. Here we can put some what pictures of like if you work at Airbnb, whatever company you work at, put them on these tiles here. If you have a YouTube channel, you contribute to the Figma community, do you do any live streams on Twitch? Have some little placeholder images there so people can get a bit more about you. So you're not just a designer, you could be a designer, a Twitch streamer, you could be a designer that contributes on Figma community, someone that hikes you know it's important to nail these slides down spend some good time on this so more about you it's a nice little slide to talk about some extracurricular stuff that you do it makes you more human and interesting it doesn't have to be design related here and then something that i've seen other designers do is talk about their design philosophy and i feel like it really helps shape when you're aligned into a company and it helps them really understand more about what you want as well because when it comes to interviews you're interviewing a company as well and they also want to see that what you're looking for aligns with them and that's really important when it comes to a job you have to be both have the right fit and have the same type of values otherwise it might not work out long term for you and that's fine as well right so i like accessibility inclusivity and open source as you can see all these youtube videos i create are free and all the thing the community stuff that i do so i talk about this here you could have totally different design philosophies as well helpful and i want to help as many people as possible that's why i found impactful work um as a designer is through things like Figma Community and YouTube where you have hundreds and thousands of people watching and using my stuff, so I really appreciate that. Um, and then next up, we just talk through the case studies. So usually you spend about five minutes going through this and you have the chance to do some case studies. Your portfolio presentation could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour, so feel free to pad this out as much as you need. But this should at least give you a good amount of content to fill at least a 30 to 40 minute presentation. So put your project name, your case study, and then put a hero image of your project. You wanna give people an idea straight away is it a mobile app? Is it a website that you're about to show? Is it a tablet? Is it a smartwatch app? What, what are you about to present? Give the interviewers and the people that are watching your presentation an idea straight away, entice them in, get them hooked. 
And then really, really important is talk about the project overview, who you was working with, make it clear that you was working on a product driven team, you know, using that Spotify squads model. And what was your actual role? What did you actually do? How long was the actual project as well? So was you working with iOS developers, Android developers, product managers, product owners, put all of that stuff down. It's really important to talk about cross-functional relationships. Now you want to talk about the background of your project here, a bit of context, what was the problem your team was trying to solve, what's the actual team like, um, and also where did this actual team form, why did it form, how long has it been running for, and display some metrics that maybe your team's trying to achieve, or is your team set out to actually uh, work around some legal or political problems, have it, or some environmental targets, what is your team all about here? Then it's all really important about your customer problem. What is it you set out to achieve for the actual customer here? And then your how might we statement. Hopefully you already have this crafted out so you can just plug that straight in. So when it comes to the portfolio presentation, you might be focusing on the specific how might we statement because you only have a set amount of time. So you want to make it really clear. And this here is really cool to include. I feel like it helps a lot is that when you talk about projects, you want to show that it's being used in the real world using real photos here. So it gives people virtually a good understanding and it allows them to get closer to your product. So if you've got any photos, put them in, show your product being used in the real world and you do research, whatever that is, it's a nice little mood board here impact 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 so you if you haven't watched my video on cvs or creating your online portfolio be sure to watch those but we talk about having impact in your cv your online portfolio and it doesn't go away when it comes to your presentation people are still interested in the impact that you've made here so what are the metrics you set out to achieve the impact metrics was it task success rate that you're trying to input Prove. Was it task completion time? Were you trying to get that down? Was it customer satisfaction? Was you trying to get that up? Was you just trying to generate more revenue for your company here? Or was you just trying to scale it to profitability? So make that clear right at the start of the case study what you was trying to achieve here. So measuring impact and KPI. So here we can talk about wait, what was really, really important for your project? So you might have had these impact and KPIs set out straight away that we wanted to get people to deliver 16 parcels an hour, deliver 1,000 parcels a day. So what were the impact and KPIs you were trying to achieve? Talk about constraints because every single project has, has its own constraints. What were your constraints? Talk about those here. And principles, they're really key when designing and talking about in a presentation because it allows you to shape what decisions were being made. So when you come into talk about your wireframes, you really want to talk about how decisions were being made and principles are a great way of doing this. So principles of like being reliable or accessible, like certain decisions were made because we were so strict on making the app really reliable and really efficient. So we had to basically cut out a certain feature or de-risk a certain feature by stripping out some parts of the design. Did you do any field research? The reason I included this one um, is because it's important to talk about research that you've done when you started the project. And what insights did you really learn from, from your research here? So how did your research help you scope out the project and make decisions and what impact did this actually make here? And then you want to talk about the customer needs and what was in the first release of your app and what were you going to focus on. So next up is actually talking about the designs here. So you want to maybe it's talk about some wireframes you came up with and why you iterated through certain ideas and maybe were formed by different research decisions, working cross-functionally with product managers and developers, they helped you make different decisions here. And you want to talk about option, different options you explored. It's really important to talk about different options explored, but why you chose a certain option and how this helped shape your decisions. More detailed exploration so you can dive deeper into a certain feature. So you're diverging 
and now you want to basically rein that all back in with that conversion so accessibility here did you actually talk about this in your project if not you know move on and did you do any icon work design system work include that as well it's nice to show that extra curricular stuff and here always include a prototype a prototypes are so important static screens can only show you a certain amount of work and they only go a certain distance but the reality is is that in your presentations you want to be spending a good amount of time on your prototype so I always include a prototype link and open this up inside Figma and I usually run through this for for like five minutes and I can make sure the flow is looking top notch all the interactions are working out well it's so important here so here's a prototype that I usually run through as a Figma prototype. You can embed this inside uh, the Figma presentation by making it click to an external tab. But like I said, it's really important to add a prototype because it allows you to really show off your work, show your interaction, your visual design skills, and your product thinking of why certain things and certain decisions were being made. For example, why was this button placed here? Why was why do these cards fade out and it pushes you to the next screen? And why have well, there's a large iconography here? And why have you used like a native tab bar at the bottom on iOS here? All of these decisions, why is there a fixed scan parcel button here? All of this will be really useful for you to talk about with, uh, live during a prototype. It makes it so much easier and it really helps you show your thinking and your work. So going back to the Figma presentation now. Moving on into the design file presentation template, you're usually required to present at least two case studies. So here for the second case study, I usually uh, leave a, le a lot less time for the second one because the first one is way more detailed. So I want to uh, touch on a few different things on the second one here. And this one's more oriented towards like product thinking and showing like user flows. So here I've got another hero image that this time is a public available image from Ford. So it looks pretty cool here. I put background and research combined here together. And then we've got a little app screenshot of what I'm about to talk about. And then here you could, again, it's really important to talk about the who you worked with. This time was it a global team or was it a actual local, local team? Was it product driven? How long was you working on it? And then key themes when designing, again, really, really important because it helps you justify your decisions. What was your problem statement? Hopefully you could just plug that in straight away. This time you can have different type of picture of your project. Hopefully you've got one here. Customer needs and first release again. But this time I talk through a natural flow of how this actually works. You can fill this in here. It's all editable here. And then we look at different edge cases. So it's really important to talk about edge cases that you've worked on. And then we've got some background wireframes here of a product of some different features that we've explored. And then you can have a dive into one of the actual features. And then we talk about the main flow here. This time it's not a prototype, but we've already had the prototype earlier. So it's so good to at least have one prototype in and then always always important to talk about lessons learned it always shows that you're self-aware and you're always looking to learn so talk about impact and lessons learned here and then this could be a prototype if you've got one right at the end and the last thing on this presentation template is a nice little plug for yourself about what do your colleagues say about you hopefully you've got some nice quotes from some people that you've worked with that you can plug and it just it's just a nice way to end the presentation here and then a thank you slide so hopefully that helps you build out your presentation deck it's always important not to go over the time limit because it doesn't show that great uh, great time management skills if you go over so it's important to rehearse this and bear this in mind as well Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this presentation template can help you during your interviews and smash that interview to land the job. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future design related videos. Put a comment down below of what you think of a presentation template. I respond to every comment possible. So be sure to put a comment down and I'll guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.